but doing it again, never do this on scratch, episode 4. So if you have no idea whatsoever about this series, make sure to check out the previous 3 episodes because for some reason this is an ongoing series in this channel. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. Bastian Stuff 2023 commented, SL I found a way to break scratch. Make a block and put a random name, alright? Edit it and put the person symbol, delete person and switch it to some other name, then press OK. Fine, beyond scratch and let's test it out. Make a block, put any name, let's put smart money. Click OK, edit it, put the percent symbol and then you can't press OK because we did it on the previous episodes. Then let's remove the percent symbol. Click OK and now we got that nameless block. Here's the best part, if you try moving the block, so it just separates the block like, man this is my blowy. Just completely separated these two blocks. So can we put any other block in it? Yes you can but this thing just keeps on moving. Wow, so the more blocks you drag, the more further it moves. Really deadly glitch, don't ever do that. Person2520 commented, if you drag a block that doesn't work with the stage onto the stage, that block goes onto the stage. Also create clone of myself breaks and put underscore around myself. So this is an obvious thing so you can't use motion blocks in the stage. But for some reason you can drag motion blocks onto the stage. But it won't work obvious. And another interesting thing that he said is the create clone of myself. So this is a block that only works with sprites and if you go on stage you can only create clone of a sprite itself. So now let's try to drag this block onto the stage and yes we can and as you can see it breaks and puts an underscore. Really really cool, does it work? No it doesn't. Alright. Why can you do this? Chai Bugs World 2628 commented put a divide operator in a move block and then put the timer sensor in the divide operator and then the Y will say dot a number. So let's test that. So let's drag the divide move and then pick the timer and it should say infinity alright and now for the moment of truth. Let's click the bar. And yes, Y does say not a number. So that's really cool and Sprite is completely off the stage. So everything 27709 committed. Do some important coding. Make a block name percent fifteen dot the square. Alright. Add an input. Enter the block. Now you have an empty block and the other blocks in the scroller thingy are missed. So I think we did it on episode 3. And he also commented another one. Do Arabic language. Lol. Right to left, right the righty. So first let's do the Arabic language thing so you could change the language for this button. If you didn't know, let's pick Arabic. And oh my god, so everything switches from left to right because that's how you write Arabic. So everything switches to left to right. So even the green flag and the buttons also switch to left to right. This looks really really weird. Even the blocks. Look at these blocks. Wow. Imagine coding like this. This is a whole mess. These blocks look like they're upside down. Wow. So I got extension and even the back button is also swapped. And uh, let's go for the sprite library. And for some reason, the sprites in the sprite library are on English. Like, I don't understand why. I mean, the sections are translated into Arabic, but not the sprites. Wow. Let's try the backdrop. Yep. Same thing for the backdrop as well. Can we search in English? Yes, we can. Alright. Wow, this is so weird. So let's try to make a block with the percent symbol. Why am I moving the blocks this side? Uh, let's go to my blocks. Make a block. Still so weird. Percent 15. Uh, I think we need to add an input. Enter. And yep, the scroller thing is are a mess because you can't see any block at all so yeah we successfully broke scratch i have a crab 283 commented request for part 4 put a start sound block in a forever loop or oh, we all know what's gonna happen just just don't do this yeah never do this start sound block forever don't do that so this is not at all worse than the thing we did with the texture speech. 
But yeah, don't do this as well. Well, I'm not reading that name. Make a my blog type percent in, select boolean, add a label, type it in percent d in. Click OK, then your blocks disappear. Go to costume, go back to code, you break scratch. Let's make a block, type percent in, add a boolean, add a label, percent d in. And let's click OK. And we don't need to go for code or costume because scratch automatically breaks. Username not found, 6926 commented, if you name the costume to the percent 15 character and the sounds too, and then start typing the percent 15 character in a text box inside the costume editor. It starts glitching out and does some weird things if you flip the costume and stuff. Alright, that's our curse. Edit if you cover the sprite to bitmap while it's in broken mode, scratch breaks. Also, if you try typing another text box in the broken mode, you can't. If you create shapes with the shame tool, they stick to your cursor, and if you try erasing them, it act weird too. So we need to copy the percent fifteen character. So the way to do that is to search percent fifteen in the scratch search bar and then copy this character. So let's create a new project. Name everything for this grass braid. Alright. Costume. And if you type that character now, it should break. And yes, it did break because we cannot see those box thingies. And if we try to flip, carry rotate, no problem at all. And we are stuck. Cool. Nothing happens if we flip. Alright, they keep following the mouse unless you double click. Okay. And if you try drawing a shape, they follow your mouse. Wow. So can we click? Nope, it just keeps on following the mouse. Alright, this is really, really broken. So let's try to erase. And wow. Let's try to type anything else. Let's try something. Yep, we can type. Alright. I think we can type anything because I just now typed something. And that's it. We can't type anything else. Alright. So now let's convert it to Bitman. And scratch broke. So yeah, that glitch works and oh, we just got two sections. We did that on episode 3. Kashimat? Kashimat? I don't know. So this is actually a reply to another comment, so here's a better way. Start when green flag click block, now create a custom block and name it Cloak. Make sure to tick with the run with our screen refresh or this won't work. No other defined clone, put a forever loop with a simple create clone of myself. Now under when green flag cling, put your new custom block underneath. Finally, get a when I start as a clone block and also put the custom block under. Done, I tested this with the browser and I immediately was unable to end the project. And then we got the tab slowing down message, so let's test that. So let's make a block called clone and tick run without screen refresh. When green flag click, let's drag the clone block. And let's define the clone forever, create clone of myself. When I start as a clone, we need to again clone. By this guy go power build. So let's click on the green flag. And no, there's absolutely nothing you can do. You can't say, you can't click anything. There's just nothing you can do. And yes, we got the page unresponsive. I mean, these things could happen accidentally rather than copying the person 15 and doing all the stuff. But yeah, don't do this, you'll lose all their progress. Ben Dix9640, I don't know. Here's the word. If you minimize the game window, oh I know what this is. Then drag a variable, it will let you drag it past a certain part. Not deadly, but really other. So some of you might know this situation, but if you don't know, if you show a variable and then minimize your stage, you can't drag the variable past this level. Why? I don't know. And why this isn't fixed? I don't know. But yeah, this is not deadly at all, but it's really, really, really annoying. So if you, for example, push it somewhere here, if you minimize, then it automatically snaps to that place. Really, really annoying. Domino Kido 1279 commented. This one is insane. Do the person 15 trick and copy the symbol. Make a list and name it that symbol. When you click OK to confirm it, the section should get a little stretched out. Go to costumes and go back to code, the list will appear. Please try the next one. Sure dude. Copy the percent 15, make a list. Use that thing, 
and we need to keep focus on this area because he said that might get stretched out and I didn't see it that much different but I don't know so let's click on costumes back to code and now we got our nameless list so let's try it in the offline editor as well make a list and yes, that did get a little stretch out, so I noticed that. So, costumes, back to code. Yep, we got our nameless list. Look how weird this list is. So, if you watched this far of the video, you probably enjoyed the content. So, make sure to give this video a like and consider subscribing for the channel. And make sure to check out this video where I go over some hacks in Scratch. See you in the next one.